today I start one important topics related to linear algebra. We start from basic definition of linear transformations. We also give these definitions in previous class, but today we just discuss this one in short. Okay, V and W be vector spaces. Obviously, vector spaces over some field. Okay, over field F. Then we call about some functions t v to f. This functions be an operator, okay? Be an operator, and then this operator is called a linear transformation. Is called a linear transformation, okay? Transformations if this satisfies two conditions. This one if t of x plus y equal to t x plus t y then it's t is additivity okay next we talk about this one c sorry t of c x equal to t of c x equal to c of t x okay r c belongs to f and x y belongs to this g understood then this one is called then this linear transformation this operator is called which property satisfies this property satisfies and that means additivity and this one is scalar multiplication it's okay then simply we also discuss some other properties satisfies by some linear operation linear transformations okay this one is that means t0 equal to 0 and obviously we says about that t of cx plus y equal to c of tx plus ty okay and another one is t of x difference y equal to tx difference ty understood and then we also written about that t of linear combinations of ai xi equal to here ai t of xi okay in this way we also develop linear transformation and we also give more example related to that okay today i discuss on important topics related to this linear transformation so it is that portion that going to further discussion of that okay now we going to discussion of on important topics related to this linear transformation this is null space okay null space of t or null space of t or nt understood and obviously we discuss another one range of t range of t or rt okay we discuss this one so um, we are also going to discuss about that this one is too easy but we write it in this way let v and w be vector spaces okay be vector spaces over a field okay understood then uh, and let t v to w t v to w be linear linear means this property satisfies the additivity scalar multiplication and then we're also going to discuss in the null space of t the null space of t okay null space of t we write it here kernel okay mm, then what happened kernel of t or kernel mm, here null space of t denoted by this one nt okay and then we obviously is is to be the set of set of all vectors x in v such that tx equal to 0 understood then what happened then nt equal to those x belongs to v such that tx equal to 0 we write it in this set notation this one is we express it in this form okay so we also that means right we also known about that null space of t and t what is n t that means those, those vectors those vectors in v obviously transform 
and those vectors x and v obviously transform by this linear transformation or by this linear operator okay transform to phi zero okay that means those vectors v whose images are zero understood too easy then these vectors these vectors collections is form and not a problem at all this one is too easy for all i think all i understand that now we're going to further discussion of that range of t okay then this one is similar way we also define that okay so how we handle here we write it now let this one similarly v and w be vector spaces be vector spaces over a field okay okay then what happened then the range then the range of p or denoted it rt okay mm, rt is to be the subset the subset of w okay subset of w consisting consisting of all images of vectors in v all images okay all images under t under t of vectors in v okay vectors in v then what happened we write it in set notation in this way this one that tx such that x belongs to v understood so rt equal to this one tx by x it belongs to v then let v and w be vectors to survive so k, k then range of t rt generated by rt is said to be subset of w consisting of all images under t of vectors in v okay so we write it in set notation rt equal to tx such that x belongs to v not a problem at all all i understand this i think okay so we're going going to further discussion of that we we'll also discuss some example related to that topics okay now we erase that portion and going to further discussion of that okay now we we'll start from one example yeah so um, in this way we we'll also write it now let p and w be vector spaces okay v and w be vector spaces and let let in this way i v to v okay and t0 and t0 here v to w okay be the identity and zero transformation be the identity and zero transformations and zero transformations okay then what happened this one is too easy identity means we all, all known about that yeah here that means i x equal to x okay in this way we also write this one and zero transformation means t zero of a x equal to zero okay not a problem at all then we write it in this way n of i equal to what n of i equal to zero understood just zero going to zero otherwise not a problem at all then range in the nullity that means this one is obviously we we'll discuss about nullity of t okay that means null space of t here i okay identity of operator and then range of i equal to what range of i equal to t understood then obviously here nullity of t0 or null space of t0 equal to what v that means whole this domain okay of t0 mm, and obviously range of t0 equal to what range of t0 equal to just this zero fact understood then we're also going to discuss in this one of trivial example we are, we are also familiar with that example in previous um, class or previous some books and others um, that means which are read but now we know one that means non-trivial example okay this one is 
obviously familiar to all i think um, so it is that course i'm going to further discussion of that so we'll also start to discussion on another example related to that okay so what is this this one is t r cube to r square okay be the linear transformation defined by be the linear transformations be the linear transformations okay be the linear transformations defined by defined by what defined by p of here a1 a2 a3 this one is triplet okay this one is triplet that means his domain is contains this triplet obviously coming that means coming from this rq okay and we also um, going to this one here a1 difference a2 and here is 2 a3 understood in this way this one is defined that means this one is just one pair of coordinates okay so um, this one coming from r square and we also define in this way this linear transformations now we're going to further discussion of that how we represent this nt okay nt equal to what nt equal to those x belongs to p such that p of x equal to zero understood so we write in this way x equal to taking away arbitrarily a1 a2 a3 then what happened then t of x equal to t of a1 a2 a3 then this gives what this gives in this way a1 difference a2 2 a3 and obviously this equal to what equal to zero then what we get we get this a1 mm, uh, sorry we write it that means explicitly this one is equal to zero means what in two dimensions that means in r square this one is zero that means zero zero in pair okay so what this get this this gives us a1 difference this gives us what a1 difference a2 equal to 0 and 2a3 equal to 0 then what this implies that a1 equal to a3 a1 equal to a2 and a3 equal to 0 understood not a problem at all then what happened here then we write it in this way nt equal to nt equal to what this one a a0 okay where a belongs to r then dimension of nt equal to okay one understood not a problem at all mm, so now we're going to discuss another thing another thing is rt rt equal to what rt equal to r square okay we write it in this way rt rt equal to r square or dimension of rt equal to what dimension of rt equal to obviously 2 okay and dimension of nt equal to 1 so in this way mm, In this way, we also discuss a null space of T and dimension of this equal to nullity of T, okay? And range T and range of T and dimension of this equal to rank of T, okay? So, no, we also not discussing this more, okay? Now, we're going to further one um, related topics, related theorem of this topic. So, where is that course? I'm going to further discussion of that. Okay, so I think all are understood this problem. Now we're going to further discussion of that. This one is in this way we write theorem. Okay, theorem is this: let B and W, let B and W, let P and W be vector spaces. Let P and W be vector spaces, and here T V to W let t p to w p linear okay the linear then what happened then uh, nt and rt that means null space of t and range t okay nt and rt um, are the subspace of v and w are the subspace subspaces of v and w respectively understood not a problem at all we are, start, uh, we are going to further discussion of that we are now going to prove of that i think all are understand this statement of this theorem this one is too easy just nt is subspace of p 
RT subspace of W. So we're going to discussion of subspace. We are now familiar with this, but now we have to prove it. So we're doing it. okay. So we're going to prove of that. We write it in this way: zero v and zero w. Okay. Uh, denote the zero vector. Denotes the zero vector of v and w respectively. Understood or not? Understood. I think all are understood that. Then what happened? Since since t of zero v equal to zero w. Okay. So we have the we have part zero v belongs to n of v. Okay. Next, next, what we next, what we prove next, what we prove, we prove here in this way let xy belongs to nt. Okay, then what happened? We know about that this implies that tx equal to zero and to y equal to zero understood not a problem at all then what happened we, we write it zero w because we fixed this one so then what happened then obviously we're going to discussion about that here then t of x plus y equal to what T of x plus y equal to T x plus T y here zero w plus zero w equal to zero w. Okay, then x plus y belongs to this implies that x plus y belongs to n. Understood? Then we are also going to further discussion of that. This one is what? That means T of x. Okay. Now therefore T of c x equal to here we write it in this way mm, t of cx t of cx equal to what c of um, tx and tx equal to c of 0 w equal to 0 w okay then c of tx equal to 0 w then we implies that cx belongs to uh, an nt understood not a problem at all so cx belongs to nt and x plus y belongs to nt this implies that what this implies that so it is so simply c belongs to a so simply that nt be a subspace nt be a subspace of k understood or not i think this one is too easy and all are understood that problem but um, that means step by step how we going to prove nt be subspace this one is that means some logic is that means we follow here just to first prove this one t0 v equal to 0 w and then we prove t is additive vt and t obviously scalar multiplicative okay and then we also um, do this um, that means um, sorry not we prove this one t is additivity and scalar multiplicative we prove that um, ntv subspace then what then we also uh, do this if x y belongs to nt then x plus y belongs to nt and if c belongs to f and x belongs to nt then cx belongs to nt okay we prove here this one and we use this one we use this um, uh, scalar multiplicative and additivity of t okay so um, we use this and we prove here this one x plus x y belongs to nt x plus y belongs to nt and cx belongs to nt this implies that nt be a subspace of v but now it is that portion i'm going to further discussion of that and further is this remaining part this remaining part is rt be a subspace of w okay so now we're going to further discussion of that so this is what we're also going to further discussion about that okay now we write it in this way t 0 v equal to 0 w and obviously we write it here then then 0 w belongs to rt okay then what happened 
let x y let x y belongs to r t okay and c belongs to a x y belongs to r t and c belongs to a then there exists v and w then there exists v and w belongs to p okay belong this one is belongs to r t then there exists v and w belongs to p such that what such that such that t of p equal to x and t of w equal to y understood in this way we considered this one then what happened we write it in this way now t of v plus w equal to t of p plus t of w equal to x plus y okay t of v plus w equal to what here t of x plus y Mm, t of p plus w equal to this one and that means no uh, so what we have to prove that now we have to prove that this one mm, that means we x plus y belongs to rt okay so what happened that means mm, v plus v plus w obviously belongs to v so we, what we get we get v plus w belongs to v and t of p plus w equal to x plus y this implies that x plus y belongs to rt understood or not i think first is done next step is remaining this step is what c belongs to f okay if c belongs to f then we have to prove that cx is in here so what we do it we write it in this way t of c v equal to what c of t v equal to what equal to c x okay then this remaining what this remaining we have to prove that c of v belongs to v and t of and t of c v equal to c x this implies that c x belongs to r t understood so this implies what cx belongs to rt this implies if x belongs to rt and c belongs to f then this one and this one are satisfied so how do we prove it we prove that rt be a subspace of um, w okay understood So we also write here RTB subspace, RTB is subspace and subspace of what? Subspace of W. Understood? Not a problem at all. Now we are also going to discussion of another theorem related to that. Where is that person? I am going to further discussions of that. Okay. So I think all are understood this easy problems related to linear transformations. Okay. Now we we'll write the statement of this theorem. Also going to discussion of one theorem. Okay. Related to that topics. Let P and W be vector spaces. Obviously, vector spaces over field we also not write it now. Okay. And let T V to W T V to W be linear. Okay. Be linear. Then what happened if beta equal to V1, V2, dot 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 V N. Okay be a basis for v be a basis for v then what happen then rt equal to then rt equal to span of okay span of here t beta okay span of t beta and then span of what span of t of v1 t of v2 dot 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 t of v n understood not a problem at all uh, so going to discussion of this theorem now now we also write proof here and obviously do it uh, this one is too easy if v if some this one is basis 
We know about that base is equal to what? That means this set of vectors of base is linearly independent and generates this field. Understood? And then what we have to prove? We have to prove that this RT is generated by this. Then RT equal to span of this. Okay. So RT is generated by this vector. We have to prove this one. This one is too easy and simple. Mm, I think we we'll do it now. We are also going to further discussion of that. So we write it here. Clearly. Clearly TVI belongs to RT. Okay. TVI belongs to RT for each I. And then what happened? Because RT. Because RT is a subspace. Okay. RT is a subspace. Mm, then RT. RT. Because RT is a subspace. Then obviously RT contain. Contain what? Span of. Okay. Span of TV1. TV2. Dot dot dot. Here TVN. Understood? Then equal to what? Equal to span of T beta. Not a problem at all. And obviously then what we have to prove? We have to prove that. Okay. That means this one obviously equal to RT. Okay. RT contain this one. Not a problem at all. Okay. Then if TVI belongs to this, this means what? RT contain this one. Okay. Now we have to prove that. Mm, that means RT is contained in this one. Okay. That means this one contain RT. We have to prove now. So we erase that portion and going to further discussion of that. Now suppose that, now suppose that W belongs to RT, okay? Then W equal to what? Then W equal to TV for some V belongs to V, okay? Then what happened? Because beta is a basis for V. Because beta is a basis for P. Then what happened? We have we have what? P equal to summation I equal to 1 to N A I P I. Okay. For some A I belongs to M. Okay. Not a problem at all. Since beta is a basis, then any vector from <coughs> from this V obviously generated by these vectors of this basis. Okay. So we write it in this way. Again, we write it since T is linear, since T be linear. Then what happened? Then it follows that. It follows that. What? T of P equal to, in this way, we write it, T of summation I equal to 1 to N A I V I equal to what? I equal to 1 to N A I T of V I. Okay. So, what we write here? This one, obviously, span of T beta. Yes or no? Yes. Because we are obviously generated T P. Okay. TV what? TV equal to W. Okay. TV equal to what? W. We write it here W. W equal to TV equal to this. Obviously belongs to span of T beta. And obviously this W be one arbitrary element of RT. Understood? W be a, an arbitrary element of RT and obviously we, we express this W in this form of the miscellaneous combinations of T of Pi. 
that means this vectors coming from t beta and then we also write it this one is span of t beta because we also that means generate this w or express this w as a linear combinations of those vectors coming from t beta so we write it in this way this one this w belongs to span of t beta and this w is arbitrary so we write it this rt okay rt obviously is contained in is contained in span of t beta understood or we write it in the span of t beta contain rt okay so we also that means prove this one too easily that if beta is that means be a basis for v then rt obviously generated by those vectors those vectors of that means those vectors coming from this linear transformations of this basis okay so we write it in this way and obviously we stop here we're not going to further discussion of that today i discuss one important topic first we discuss definitions of linear transformation and then obviously we're going to null space of t and range of t and obviously then we discuss one related example to null space of t and range of t and obviously we then discuss nt and rt is subspace of v and w respectively and then we also discuss this theorem so today i stop here if you get this type of videos please subscribe my channel if you give like please click on like options if you have any question comment suggestions write it in comment box so today i stop here thank you